presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 13, NASDAQ's off 80, SP's off 2.5, gold contract trading down $10.40 at 18.03 an ounce. We got silver down 50 cents, $20.23 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $2.00. 27 cents at 94.20, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note, down 19 ticks, trading out at 119.04. The 30-year uh, off a full point, plus 20 ticks at 140.04, and King Dollar. King Dollar right now is down 89 ticks, 105.107. The Euro is out here at a price point of 102. The Yen is at one, I lose it. Uh, there we go, 132, and the British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your, your world? We're going to go to the world of the NQs first, because the NQs are doing an intraday ABC structure on the way down, folks. Now, the S&P is not, so it's going to get really intriguing watching this shake out. So what you had out here, they, bottom line, got the NQs all the way up to... Uh, 575 out here. Right now you're at 313. Uh, and you can see the bottom line, let's see, we had 14,000 contracts, took that out. Uh, no, maybe we didn't. 10,000. No, it didn't do it. That's interesting. Okay. No, it, 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 neither one of them had the, um, the volume when it took it out intraday. That being said, that in the NQs, the NQs are trying to make it over that spike low that we had yesterday. The spike low yesterday was 13,237. That's how this baby's shaking out right now. You can see the last 10 minutes, uh, that was a big bar, man, down there. Now, check it off, but uh, that's a high volume bar. When you get high volume bars, whether it's daily, weekly, intraday, intraday, man, they love going after them. You know, if they don't go after them today, they're gonna go after them tomorrow. So let's go over to the SPY first. We take a look at the SPY, what you have inside the SPY. Gave it up on price. The SPY got to a price point of 424. And I suspect what we're gonna have here, folks, is that, see that last, like in the SPY, I don't think the pullback's gonna be as much. The SPY looks to me like 413 to 406 is game. It's a high volume buy, that's what I'm doing here. And that's not where it broke up from. Now the Qs, I suspect, are going to go right back to where they took off the last time. And, and the reason is that that's where that bar is. See that bar right there? That is 308 in the Qs, you're at 321. You know, because what you're going to have out here today, it's, it's, you're going into this uh, 116 million. Yesterday we were talking about this, that, you know, it's weird, man, when you, you, when you go after a swing and you can't take it out and you get a big day, you know, that was like, okay, and then, you know, there was a head fake this morning, no doubt about that, man. I was saying, okay, you want to jump the ice, but it was dicey. Bottom line, gave it up and gave it up in spades. That being said, so my take, and this is kind of cool how this is laying out, too, because watch this. Because that is, 
also the 0 0.382 of the whole move. And, you know, that it totally makes sense. That, you know, you, you have that 0 0.382. They line up the exact same way, right? That, that side of strength out there. And I suspect what it's going to be about, okay, uh, what it's going to be about is the uh, DXY. That's the bottom line, okay? So what we had out here is that we had a break lower with conviction, okay? Bottom line, and I suspect what this thing wants to do, which would be a mind blower, but this is how it works, man, is that it will go back up, and you know the, the break that we had occurred inside the dollar is saying the dollar wants to go to 97. And what happens is that you're down here, this will try to make its way back up, and break inside the trend line again. You know, more than likely, it'll just hit the trend line, give it up in space. But as that's doing that, that is going to put pressure on the market because we, the bottom line, the market cannot stand the strong dollar. They go out of, it goes out of its mind, literally, okay? Now, let's go into the gold contract. We look at the gold contract. What do you have with the gold contract? Gold contract's down 10 bucks, and you can see, as a lot of the targets are saying in there, man, gold couldn't move when the dollar was down 1,400 ticks yesterday. Now, all of a sudden, the dollar just goes down a little more, uh, and bottom line, look what happens. That being said, what you have is that this is so light a volume, folks, the bottom line, gold wants higher price. We're pulling back today uh, 10 bucks. You only have 111,000 contracts. I believe we're going into... Uh, 199, we're going into a good number. Let me see what this is. Yeah, we did 155 yesterday. We're going into 169. Yeah. This is, a, this, there's not a lot of sellers. That, that, that can, that, you know, it can pull back further, that's for sure. But the bottom line is that the sellers aren't out here. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities we have out here. Um, today, you got, uh, let's see. I got AMC, the meme stocks. That's up. That's up a buck seventy-one. Ford's up twenty-six cents. You got uh, Nvidia down one fifty-six. Amazon's off two fifty. No big, big numbers here, man. No real big numbers. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and see the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Uh, oh, Disney's going to be their number. Disney, they, they came out with their numbers, <laughs> decent numbers, and the expansion of price is amazing, man, 38%. So uh, Disney is putting 33 positive points inside the Dow. You get uh, Travelers, 26, Goldman, 25, taken away from it. United Health, 46, Amgen, 22, and J&J, uh, &J, uh, 100. No, I'm sorry, 20 points, 20 points. And the, inside the MDX 100, the strength versus the weakness there. You got uh, Pindo Do is up 4%. You got Constellation Brands up 3%. JD.com up 2 Airbnb up 1 Taken away from it. DocuSign, that's down 4.5%. You got Zoom off 4%. You got Splunk off 36 And... Bottom line is that this is a little baby, uh, yeah, it didn't take the B point out with volume, but it wants lower price. Dow Industrials right now uh, flat, NASDAQ is uh, down 85, S&Ps are down 4. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 27. We get the Nasdaq down 67. S&P is a flat. Let's go to our man, Tom in Tampa. Tom, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing great, man. Good. Um, heck of a call there on Disney. I remember it was back around 99, 100. You said you could take out that swing point at 110, then do a dead cap bounce up to 117, which it did. Um, I mean... This thing, you know, it came straight down. I mean, to me, it looks like you could almost still get in this thing. Uh, what do you think you might see on a pullback here? Yeah, so let's take a look at it, okay? So when you take, it's amazing, too. And Tommy was talking about this on a show this morning. You know, the low for the year, folks, is $90. The high is 187 I mean, Disney got absolutely smoked. It came right back. Now, check this out, man. This came right back to the pandemic lows. I mean, it came, well, it actually came back to the highs of the lows. You know, I talk about this a lot. Well, actually, it dug into it a little. So the, the high of the low is 98. And that had 169 million shares, and we rejected it with 54 million. Uh, yes, Tom, I think that um, you're definitely going to be able to get into this. And I think it's a, <laughs> listen, man, you know, you're in Florida, I'm in Florida. Um, and this is what's really intriguing, too, by the way, folks, okay, because, um, uh, no, it's free parks. There's another amusement park and um, free flags. Six flags, rather. They come out right. with the numbers yesterday, and, and they weren't great, folks, okay? Disney's a whole different animal, man. And they're particularly a different animal because they... I'm not, Now I'm shifting from the parks to the streaming. I mean, they went through up 38% in their streaming. So by the millions, yeah, it's a, it's a big number. You know, I mean, the way to try to do this. So Disney went to 123 today. It's at 117, and more than likely, Tom, I think we'll finish, fill this gap, man, and try to get it near the gap. Like, the gap is uh, 111, you know? Right around the 111? Okay. Yeah, like, because if I'm right in the context that we're going to be going lower for a couple of days, this will probably get out there and fill it. And, that, and then, you know the routine, okay? The routine is that what happens, folks, is that as it's coming down, you, you want to see a dramatic drop off in volume like we want you want to see less than 13 million see that um let's see that was last uh, friday right there if you can get that test with less than 13 million you get action and you know you might have a consolidation or something but what what does happen is that when you take the this type of consolidation you can take the 116 and take the 90 so we got uh what do you call it so that's uh 26 Thirty-six forty-one. When you do that, this stock wants to go to one forty-one. That's how this is set up. So, wow. yeah, pretty cool, man. 
Gotta love it. About time, I know, because it's uh, there's no doubt the type of, uh, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, they own ninety percent of ESPN too. I mean, you talking about the streaming. I mean, they, these guys are. I mean, they're they're a powerhouse. They're a powerhouse, and you know what, yeah, folks? What happened yesterday? And uh, so the Big Ten, you know, big football, no doubt about it. ESPN dropped out of the uh, auction. And I think it was one of the smartest things they ever did, man, because guess what? You know, it, it, it's good football. There's no doubt about that. But it was like blasted at $450 million or something. So CBS is going to take it over. Uh, I think I thought that was a good move, Tom, in general. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because it's like they have so much. And, and the bottom line is that, yeah, I just, yeah, I didn't think it was. So. Cook and and Aikman. Yeah, okay, Tom. Have Appreciate a great one, it. man. Have a safe one. Let's go to Frank in Gloucester. I'm going to dive right in that water, Frank. I'm so hot right now. I'm going to dive right in that water. How you doing? We'll cool you off up here, kid. You certainly <laughs> will. I know, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, the water is still hasn't warmed up yet. Uh, late August, early September. <laughs> I know. It, it's deep, cold water, and that takes a yeah. long time. It's not like the Gulf of Mexico, where it's a big bathtub, folks. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> in a monster <laughs> way. Seriously. Lots of hot water down there. Yeah, so let's hey, go. Th- I'm, looking at, I'm looking at a couple of things. You know, I want to take a look at Vail, V-A-L-E. But before we do, uh, I'm looking at the SPY on a monthly basis. And I see high volume for most of the year of 2022 uh, with the SPOC. And even, in the, even this summer, uh, you know, we've gotten fairly high volume for summer. Uh, what's going on? Let's take a look at this. Let's put this up. Why does this keep doing this? Oh. In July was a little low, but... Well, you get... This is the cool thing. See, if it, we're looking at the monthly charts here, folks, and I want to show you something. The largest volume we had was in May. And that's, yeah. you know, the bottom line there was $2.4 billion. And then June, we did 1.9. You can say that, okay, that's, this is where, you know, the selling died down. Yeah. Uh, we went up last month with light volume. No doubt about that, man. 1.4 is light, okay? So yeah. we'll see where this goes. I mean, I, I think we're, we're, we're going to commit to some flack here, man. I mean, that's kind of my yeah. take. You know, it's, it's going to be one of these things that I suspect it, it was just like we had a Nice acceleration up. It didn't stop, didn't stop, didn't stop. And today, folks, when you get a day like today, this is like the ultimate that, unfortunately, people get trapped. And what it is is this, is that because we accelerated up so fast, you know, when you're normally just, you know, looking at technicals, it's like, oh, man, hold it. This is a breakout. And plenty of people buy breakouts. So what happens, and I expect what's going to happen to this close today, I think it's going to be a nasty close because of the fact that you can get very complacent (laughs) when you have a market like this. And I suspect some people just say, I'm gonna buy this, period. And then all of a sudden, you know, they go to work, they come back, or they look at the market and say, what what, what the heck happened here? We had the the S&Ps up, you know, 30, 35 points, and all of a sudden I'm down a point, you know? And that, for us in, in, in the computer all day, that's a problem. There's no, you know what I mean? So normally when you have a day like that, you get juiced pretty quick. So, you know, I just think there's going to be a normal pullback. But I think what will probably happen, it should be a pullback that people really get nervous. (laughs) You know? Because we we know how this goes, man. It's never easy. You know what I mean? It's like, okay. Yeah, that's for sure. Right. So, hey, Hey, what's... jump Jump over the veil. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I will. Yeah, because I then we're going to bring up the uh, iron ore contract too. I, I like what Vale looks like, man. Uh, it, you do it, okay, good. I Can did I get into it. No, I did. And I do, I do. It, it, now, here's the specific question. Uh, this came off the bottom at twelve twenty back in late July, and it ran up to thirteen ninety at the end of July. Yeah. Then it did a retracement back greater than the six one eight. And I know a lot of times in the past you've talked about gold stocks doing 618 retracements all the time. Yeah. Is that 
does that mean that these sorts of things can still be a valid ABC pattern? And no. I should look for a D projection? No, no, no. Okay. No, but stay there. We're going to have a quick break because I want to show you that we, we, we want to do this. You'll get used to like this. My take is this thing wants to run to like 15.57 pretty quick. And then yeah, okay. we'll, what we do, we'll bring back, folks, as soon as we come back. And I'm going to bring up the uh, INR contract because this is all about what well, they have so many commodities. It's amazing. But their INR is monster. Dow Industrials okay. right now up nine. NASDAQ's on 77. S&Ps are up one and a half. Stay right there. We'll come back from Frankfurt, Gloucester. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 20, Nasdaq's down uh, 67, S&P's are flat. We're talking with Frank from Gloucester, and we're talking about uh, Vail, which is uh, a monster commodity stock, folks, okay? They have just about everything, but their biggest part of this is iron ore uh, in a monster way. But just to get into the rest of I mean, you can go into alloys, gold, nickel, copper, you know, aluminum, potash, the whole ball of wax. Um, so if we look at iron ore, Frank, let me get the contract yep. up. Okay, so we're at 737 a ton. And what's amazing about iron ore, man, this thing, I mean, goes all over the place. I mean, you can see in the last yeah. six months, six months ago, we were at uh, 632. Five months ago, we were at 915. Last month, we were at 600. Um, yeah. The way this is trading right now, though, <laughs> this is consolidating and what you know you can see the volumes man these volumes are extraordinary yeah. coming in so yeah. this very well may be another abc up and what what happens folks when you have consolidations right 
the cool thing about them is that, yeah, you, you can see that, you know, the, the bottom was like 632, this spiked to 598, and then it closed at 614, then the next, six, next day it was at 634 again. So, <laughs> yeah, when you have something like that, it's like, okay, now you're going to go up the other end. I mean, I know that sounds too simple, but the reality is that that's what they seem to do. So, that doing that, that will continue to put some juice into Vail. And if we go back to Vail again and take a look at it, and what happens with this, folks, if you're looking at this and you see all the gaps, okay, these, you can't look at this in the aspect with gaps because what, has, what ends up happening is that this is, this always gaps because what you have is that it's a Brazilian company, okay, and it's traded in the real. I think it's real. That's that the, the correct term. Yeah, so you're always right. going to have gaps, okay? When when we open or down, close, that, that's how it works. But I like the setup, man. You know, I think we're off the bottom. And if we are, you know, once you get inside of, yeah, see, we're almost inside of it. it, it see this inside of $14.51? That, that brings you into the next range, man. That's what it does. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, what should happen here, and now this is going to get intriguing with all commodities, I think, is that the strength of the dollar has killed all commodities. No, well, it hasn't killed oil, that's for sure. <laughs> no. Now, if I'm right in the context that this dollar wants to pull back, you're going to see more breathing room in these commodities, man. That's, that, that's just right. how it works because they're priced in yeah, dollars. That's what you I'm know? looking for. I'm looking for, for other commodities. Gold seems so sluggish. You know? It is, man. It's unbelievable. Hey, you, hey listen, we, we know how this goes. It is to, it, to its not, you know. But yeah. it, there's oh, yeah, no right. doubt. It's like you, you could, we could make the point that, hey, man, there's something wrong with gold. You know, one of the targets in the den, you're in the den. I saw him when he's saying or she's saying, you know, hey, man, you know, we were down 1,400 ticks and gold couldn't move. And they're absolutely right. I mean, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. You know, I, I can remember years ago going on vacation with my portfolio loaded up on gold. And I went overseas. Yeah. And I came back and it was all your newsletter stuff. And I was 19 grand to the good. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't sell that stuff fast enough. But. No, I, when it hits, we know when it hits. It, and folks, when you hear these types of stories, right, what happens in the gold market is this. When it runs, it runs in an extraordinary way. And as Frank did, you got to sell. One of the saddest things that I've seen actually in the gold market and, you know, even in, the, you know, we ran gold in an incredible way from 2001 up to 2011. We got out, we flipped it into real estate. And, you know, I did this equation on the air, folks, okay? You know, you get 100,000 in gold, it goes up to 300,000. You sell gold, you take the 300,000, the market had crashed in real estate, you buy the 100,000, well, the 100,000 went to a million. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. gold is to be traded, not basically to hold forever because the end of the world's not coming folks that's the bottom line so no. cooking hey, brother thank you very much okay man have a great one have a safe one let's go take a look at some of the higher values out here uh higher volumes out here well actually i'm going to go let's go look at the indices uh as to what the volumes are looking like right now so we're 542 in the NYSE, that's going to end up doing about uh, 85900 inside the composite Okay, so in the composite, oh, this is going to be interesting. Now, see, this is cool. So listen to this. The composite already is at 4.9. So the composite, now this is where this really gets awesome, man. The composite is going to come in at about 5.5 billion. Now, what that means is that just because we didn't hold price, people are going to get really nervous, okay? You're going to pull back. It's like, okay, is this it? Is this the monster or whatever it is? What we're going to have, folks, is that we are going to have a higher high with volume. That's about as good as it gets, meaning in the context that you, you turn around uh, and bottom line, if you buy the dip, that's, that's what it comes down to. You know, this, this high right here is going to have volume today, and that's what you want. Because what we're also coming into, you can see what's happening. We're coming into uh, May 4th.
May 4th high was 985. Uh, 12,985, and we took that out. Okay, so let's go to May 4th. Now watch this, let's go, May 4th. Okay, remember, I'll remember May 4th. I gotta remember the volume, May 4th, May 4th. Because what you wanna see there is that May 4th. Okay, there it is. This is awesome, man. Check this out, folks. See this May 4th? May 4th right there is 5.3 billion shares. So what I suspect is gonna happen is this. We already took that price out. We're gonna have big volume. And so this retracement, my take on this is that this retracement, that's all it is, is a retracement. But because of the way that markets like to move, as Frank and I were just talking, it'll, they'll be a little scary here, man. There's something that's gonna flip around here because it's just, Markets don't stay this smooth, let's put it this way, even when you're on one side and the other. You know, so I suspect something will go. The cool thing is, if it comes in with that volume, though, man, I'm telling you, that your probability is so much higher that, bang, you're going to go right back up to that level. Um, you know, it'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see where it shakes out, but that, that's how it, uh, that's my take on it right now. That, that's how it shakes out. Let's go take a look at uh, the GDX, because as we were talking about, you know, it's like, they're holding gold down. Uh, well, no. When I say there, that's the whole market. Uh, if we go to the GDX, so see, it's a good setup. Yesterday, we went higher with uh, 18 million. We're only down with 12 today. That's what you're looking for. You're going into the gap. The top of the gap is 26.30. We've made 26. So this is this will come down lower tomorrow too. This will get that'll that'll fill that gap. Uh, if you did see this, is that it's going to be intriguing to see what type of sentence the, um, the J.P. Morgan traders are going to get. Uh, those two big dogs, man, uh, got guilty and on spoofing. You know, you get a, and so what had happened is this: J.P. Morgan themselves, you know, had paid 980 million as a fine. Now the bottom line: these two guys are going to go away. Now the last time that this happened in a deal, the people only got one year. So that's a joke, by the way, okay? You're taking everyone to the cleaners, you get one year? Yeah, that doesn't even make any sense because the, the penalty is like decades. You know, I don't think they should go away for decades, but it'd be nice if they can go away you know, for a few years, right? Yeah, because I can imagine, it, what you always have to remember, you, you gotta remember the, the guy that's trading one contract, one contract, they're just, you know, they're grabbing everyone's money. And guess what, folks? The market's bad enough, but you gotta play by the rules. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 20. You got the Nasdaq down 73. S&Ps are up uh, one and a half. Let's go over to the SPY again because there are some gaps in the SPY that uh, a couple of the Tigers and Tigresses are looking at to fill. And yeah, that's, you know, I, the one on the SPY, yeah, I think that's going to be filled at 412. Right now you're 419. Um, because it's, a, it's also lining up right with that high volume bar. You can see that high volume bar laying out there. The top of that is 413.01. The gap is for 12 you know so i suspect that yeah that's going to get hit um what does let me go pull this one yeah i want to see this one okay so one that's may 4th also right so may 4th now, you know what's going to be interesting about this folks is that the nasdaq looks that it, it just this is just like before we even started a downdraft, okay? Because the Nasdaq b bottom line is leading again, okay? Leading the way down, not leading the way back up. Now May fourth, right there, it's 1.1 billion shares, and I just don't see we're gonna get we're not gonna get 1.1 billion out here today. They're at 560. So the bottom line is if you, if you are looking to buy that dip in the next few days when this thing you know goes south in a week or whatever it is keep that in mind because it looks to me that you're going to have the volume inside the nasdaq composite and you're not going to have the volume inside the dow industrials and the s and p's yeah so that sets up a uh, divergence no doubt about that you get divergence that's happening out here um and then actually let's go to the dow let me go to the dow right now i'll, I'll take a look at this one Okay, so the Dow, that's May 4th, 24,117. We didn't even make it up there. Yeah, the Dow can come back. Yeah, see, this will ruffle some feathers, man. The, the Dow can come back and fill this gap. That gap's 32,007. Uh, yeah, it's 500 points. That can, that, that'll ruffle some feathers, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I suspect we're going to do. And... Uh, We'll see where, where it shakes it out. We know that the, you know, this expansion has been wild, and this expansion has always and, and has come into the weakest point of the year. The weakest point of the year is right now, folks, okay? Really started at, you know, July 14th approximately. Goes right up until September. Uh, most times people think that October is the worst, but what normally happens is this, is that the market keeps heading down, heading down, heading down, makes a low in October, but by the time the end of October comes, it's already going back up. And so we look, let's look at that calendar one second. Let's see. So if we look at this calendar, and this is pretty cool, man. So you get, yeah, we're talking about seven weeks, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be, this is an amazing trading market, folks. Absolutely amazing. And folks, as you're coming, if you have a, you know, bottom line, if you have any interest in the metal market, 
If you come over to TFNN, what you're going to see is that right under featured content, uh, bottom line, you can save 50% for the first month for the gold report. Now, what also happens is this, is that you'll save the money, but guess what? If the gold report doesn't work for you, don't even worry about it, okay? Bottom line, you get your money back, you know? It's... It's a, it's, a, it's a good report. That's the bottom line, folks. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. You want to save 50 bucks. Uh, well, you save more than 50 bucks, but the bottom line is that you're saving 50%. And, you know, like I said, uh, if it doesn't work for you, bottom line, uh, I love how Steve Rose says that, that you get it free for 29 days because, the you know, it's 30 days money back, but it's uh, 29 days. There you go. Here comes the, the close. And, and what this close is about, folks, is that when Frank and I were talking a little bit earlier, when you do get a break topside, and particularly you get a break topside after that you've had the market running, you know, you get a lot more people buying, and they're buying though, and then they're not looking at the market because it's just a given that the market's going to go higher. And <laughs> this is why I always say the market's job is to take the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time. It's the most efficient mechanism uh, to do that, that I've seen in the world, actually. And there's just no doubt about it. It's, uh, there it is. Let me see. I want to see. Okay, J.P. Morgan. I want to get this story because I want to, I want to see what the... Where are you? Here they are. Okay, so... Okay, so... The former head of J.P. Morgan Precious Metal Business and his top trader were both convicted in Chicago on manipulating the market. This is for years, too. This is like so long, it's like sick. Uh, the third defendant, who was a salesman, uh, you know, bottom line was acquitted. He should have been acquitted, man. If you know how the, the market runs, folks, a salesman is not the guy that basically is manipulating the market. Now, what was going on here is that they... There was a couple other guys at the desk also who, and they all got grabbed. A couple of the other guys ratted on these two guys that are getting convicted. And they dragged this other guy in because they were saying that this guy, Jeffrey, who got acquitted, was basically putting pressure on the traders saying, my clients need better, better prices, better prices. Well, bottom line is he was acquitted. Uh, let's just go see. Okay, so. They're not sentenced till next year. Okay, the last two that got sentenced uh, was Deutsche Bank traders. They were convicted in 2020, and they each got a year. Mm, let's see. J.P. Morgan in 2020 paid $920 million. And it, the thing is so sick about this, we all know this and we talk about it, it's like, yeah, you, you paid $920 million, but you didn't say you're guilty. <laughs> it's like, okay, let me just throw this money out. Um, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out, let's see. The style witness was his, uh, I'm trying to just find out. It, it, oh, I see, they got him on racketeering charges too. They, this, this, they very well could do uh, some major time, but I suspect, you know, white collar is still white collar. The bottom line, and we've talked about this a million times too, you can steal a piece of pizza if you're from the, you know, bad side of the, the road and uh, yeah, you're, you're in jail for two or three years and you know, just like, you gotta go where the money is and steal billions, because then when you steal billions, the bottom line is, Hey, man, it's a white-collar crime. No big deal. Yeah, pretty amazing. No doubt about it. Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, up 15. You get the NASDAQ down 87. NASDAQ's going to try to crack this coming into the close. Let's bring this up for a second, the NQs. See where this is shaking out. I was showing you at the beginning of the show. There's a high-volume spike from yesterday that it's trying to get to. And that, the high, let's see, the high of that spike, I think is, the high of the spike is... 13,290. And the low of that spike is uh, 13,237. That's where this thing's trying to go. You know. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 32. Nasdaq's down 67. S&Ps are up one. Pan American Silva, man, this is nasty. So they come out with their numbers today, and man, they got smoked. They're supposed to make 38 cents, folks, and they come in with a loss of three cents. And the stock's just getting hammered, man. So bottom line is that you, you know, high six months ago was thirty dollars. Low uh, a month ago was seventeen. Uh, yesterday it closed at. Uh, 21 and you know bottom line don't be biting into this right now because there's just this thing that's a major loss there's no doubt about it. it's coming into that swing point i suspect that 1726 is going to get taken out we go to the broad market we take a look at the broad market out here right now the uh let's go take a look at the volumes and we take a look at the spy first inside the spy okay so you're gonna have 49 million that's light volume, actually, because yesterday we did 55, I think. Yeah, 68. Inside the NDX 100, the Qs. The Qs, you're going to have 42. It's going into 44. Yesterday it did 51. So they'll get 50 million in the Qs. So, see, this is pretty cool, man, because what it's, I always like it when, if you're, if you're getting a pullback, and you have a high volume high, it is much easier to buy the dip. <laughs> That's the bottom line. And this market here, what I expect is going to get a little dicey. Um, you know, we'll see how this pullback comes down. But I do expect that those gaps are going to get filled. 
and your benchmark. It's easier. Let's let's, let's go to the benchmark for a second. Because what I've found, and if you if you when you're training yourself, um, it's easier that just to find what you do is you find the date because the date. It's all, always the same in almost all of them. So the date you want to look at is uh, the 27th of July. That's the date. That's the last high volume day that we actually had. And inside the queues, that's 306. You know, so you, when you look, and with that, the reason I'm saying the date, folks, no matter what equity you have, most of the time, that's how it lays out. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. <laughs> <laughs>